probably do it again. I mean, uh, yeah, obviously we had a great year, and I think, you know, we'll always look back to 2011 and think, you know, how special it was. But uh, to be honest, you don't start a season having, you know, expectations to have a same or a similar season again. So. Uh, we know how, how special it was and uh, we really enjoyed that, but uh, we knew, um, we know how, how hard it is, you know, to, to be that consistent, always there and uh, nearly every race on the podium. So, um, you know, the target is obviously to try to do it again and uh, try to get everything out of ourselves. So uh, we we'll see how we get on with, with the new car RB8. Yeah, it was obviously, uh, you know, quite busy after the first championship back in 2010. So, um, yeah, in 2011, uh, surely there, you know, there's a couple of things that you have to do, you want to do, and uh, you want to give back as, as well to, you know, people here in the factory or your fans. Uh, but after that, around Christmas, you know, it was really time to slow down and uh, back off a little bit and enjoy the, the peace, um, have a good rest to, in order to, you know, be prepared uh, for this season, it will be a long and hard season again. So, um, but uh, yeah, it was really nice to let things sink in. And as I said, said before, you know, I think it makes you realize how how special the season was when you look at the results again, and you know, the races itself. And uh, yeah, you sum sum up things a little bit. So that was a, a nice feeling. And the good thing is, you know, similar to to back in in 2010, that no one can take it away from you. So uh, it always stays in your in your memory. Well, the thing is, many people always imagine the off season to be as exciting or you know busy as uh, as the, the actual season, as in we do crazy things or you know we live a crazy life. But uh, to be honest, when you're traveling so much and you're so busy, you enjoy the time you have off really, and uh, that's you know sitting at home and uh, enjoying normal things, watching TV, just you know, um, not having to do anything. So uh, I think that was quite important, as I said, to yeah refuel the bat or recharge the batteries, uh, refuel the system a little bit, and uh, yeah to to come back fresh, uh, hopefully fresh enough for for this year. So um, over Christmas I was I spent my time home with the family and uh, with friends, and then uh, went skiing a little bit. Uh, we had an awful lot of snow this winter, so it was was quite good. Um, and then very very soon in January you start to prepare prepare yourself again, uh, you start to work out uh, regularly so um, you get back into shape and uh, burn the unnecessary calories and uh, probably the unnecessary weight you might have put on over Christmas. Well, I, you know, the thing is, at the beginning of last year we didn't really expect whatever happened last year. So. Um, I think it's the same thing again. It would be wrong to go into this season and expect 2011 to, to happen again. Um, as in, you know, getting into the lead early and then having a, you know, a very big gap to, to, you know, the competitors in the championship. So I think it will be very, very tight this year and uh, everything else would be a surprise, to be honest. Um, looking at the cars, you know, there's not much room uh, we have left to play for designers and, uh, you know, to to find something extra. Um, you know, the last two years we had two big things taken away, the double diffusers plus uh, for this year the system around the blown exhaust. Um, so, you know, we're missing that and therefore it's, I think, difficult to really create a difference. We'll see. Obviously we hope that, you know, our car is better than all the others, but uh, it will be difficult and I think the cars will be fairly similar as in the gaps will be even closer than, than they have been. Of course, last, I mean, of course, 2011 was uh, extremely successful. We were extremely successful, and it was a good season. So, uh, you know, we did only very few mistakes, but still, you know, we sat down during the season and especially after the season and before this season again, um, trying to identify, you know, where we think we can improve. And uh, yeah, we got a couple of points. It's not as if it was a, a blank sheet. So, uh, yeah, uh, you would be surprised. I think. We'll, you know, uh, we had a couple of pages with things that uh, we can do better. We know we can do better, 
Of course, there were a lot of things that we did well, and we we try to to keep it up and uh, improve them as well. But uh, as I said, you know, there are uh, a lot of things here and there, small things, you know, details, uh, attention to detail um, that you can work on that might make a difference on on a Sunday. Um, you know, we have 20 races, so maybe it helps you only in one out of the 20 races, but that one might help you to score that one point more that you might need to to be on top of it at the end, so we'll see. Obviously you have a, a rough idea how the car should look like um, by what you see in the early stages um, from the desi design office, so uh, yeah, it's quite exciting to see then, you know, the full car, um, everything coming together, so um, it's, a, it's a quite a long progress, you know, when, imagining when we start building the car and uh, to today uh, where we present it and again you know then uh, the most exciting bit is obviously putting it on track and see how it feels so uh, that's yet to be seen but uh, you know first time I, I jumped into the car for the seat fit checking your position checking your pedals if everything works um, I think it was the same for Mark and myself we, we felt extremely comfortable everything um, went well and uh, yeah we, we got our position comfortable position fairly quickly so it didn't take too long we had other cars where a little bit here a little bit there you know you always asked for something but uh, with RB8 it all was pretty straightforward so yeah hope we hope it uh, continues that way I hope he's wrong obviously so <laughs> Ah, it's, it's difficult to say, you know, it's every season we start from zero again and, uh, you know, unlike other sports, I don't know if in tennis, for instance, you're the number one of the world, um, there's a certain gap between you and the number two, so you have this cushion and, you you know, it doesn't matter if it's one year or the other year, you still have it, whereas for us it all starts from zero again, zero points, everyone has the same chance and uh, we're all building our new cars, so uh, and, and until we really put them on track uh, to race each other we don't really know so uh, we'll see but uh, you know I'm, I'm as confident as I can be at this point um, and hopefully we have a you know a good couple of days with the car um, a good couple of days testing to to prepare the season well not yet uh, no name yet so uh, to be honest, last year we found a name, I think Wednesday before the first race, so uh, in, the, in that uh, race week. Um, so we might be a bit earlier uh, this year, but so far uh, no names. We have a couple of candidates, hot candidates, but nothing is decided yet.